that's up there a is Mount Mulligan. So what people call the Queensland's Uluru. Yes. Welcome to episode 2. I am Rafa Mara. And I'm Liz Campbell. We made it to Mount Mulligan. It is a large tabletop about 18 kilometers and 6.5 kilometers and 400 meters high. Isn't it impressive? Some Queensland locals call it the Queensland Ulu, but it is known by the Yungan indigenous people as a Nagara Bulgan or Nagara Bulgan. Correct me if I'm wrong, please. I reckon this is the entry of the mine. I'm not sure, but we're gonna have a look. This is the old town of Mount Mulligan. This place has the two oldest known Aboriginal sites in Queensland more than 40,000 years and it is considered a national and wow. international this interest is... and scientific significance. Yes. Wow! Let's hear a little bit about the legend of Mount Mulligan. They say that the wallabies built a very big pile of rocks, probably to play on, and the swamp pheasant built a nest there and had her young. And the Iku, the mountain devil, he destroyed them. And the pheasants were so annoyed that they lit this very big fire and melted all the rocks, which became Mount Mulligan, and the Iku, the mountain devil, to save himself, dug the lake on the top of the mountain and lives in it. That was the only way he escaped. That is still his home. That is the legend of Mount Mulligan. Chuma Mikulo Damadama Ikukole Mikulo Wole. Now that is if men go into the mountain, the Iku would be very annoyed and men would die. And if they persisted in going in, that the Iku would kill them again. She's doing well. All right. Beautiful. <laughs> good. Awesome. That was good. I did it. Did it. You made it. So this is the mine. Yes. I reckon this is the entry of the mine. You think? Yes. So let's have a look and see what happened here. It's an historical landmark where. 75 miners they got killed by an explosion September 1921 the whole town of Mount Mulligan heard the most terrifying sound that can be heard in a mine an explosion it is the third worst caused mining accident in Australia in terms of human being lost Sure, if the entry is across here, or oh, we miss it. We continue searching for the entrance of the mine. We haven't found it yet. 
there are signs that show you how the old town was built. You can see hospital signs, you can see the office signs, you can see even the magazine stores. Honestly, this is unbelievable. Really, really cool. The uneven terrain can tell you how was the lifestyle on the old town on the 20th centuries. At this point, we couldn't find the entry of the mine. There is no sign or place to start our search. But if it's something show, we enjoyed it and we will live with more knowledge and of course happy to see another beautiful place in this country. Yes. Beautiful, look at this. People call this mountain behind me the, or the Queensland Uluru. Uluru. So I hope you enjoyed the videos. Subscribe here, down here, or down here. And if you like it, of course, subscribe and have a look at all the videos down here, down here. And remember, experience the adventure, guys. Don't stay at home. Just go out and do whatever you want to do. This country is huge and you can learn so much, so much. All right, we'll see you then. Wait for my bloopers because always I have something funny to show you. She's learning. Jesus Christ, she got mad. <laughs>